Okay, let's talk about the advanced strategies for coping with urges and cravings. Number one, move beyond avoidance. When you're in early stage of recovery, it's wise to stay away from places that trigger urges whenever possible. Avoidance, however, is not a realistic long-term strategy. Eventually, you'll be in a situation which someone will offer you a drink or drugs. You need to have the confidence to resist such offers. It may help to bring along a trusted companion for support and guidance. Put yourself in a situation that may trigger an urge, such as a restaurant that serves alcohol. Use whatever basic strategies from 1 to 14 have helped you resist urges. Practice refusing offers of your addictive behavior so that you can handle the peer pressure. Visualize someone trying to persuade you to use or making fun of you if you refuse. Visualize yourself confidently refusing that offer. Someone who stirs strong emotion in you and is intent on getting you to use. Visualize keeping your focus and managing your responses. Number two, bring out your urge. After you develop some mastery of coping with urges, you may want to confront them on your terms rather than wait for them to happen. It may help you to gain confidence in your ability to cope with them. Bring urges out. Visualize a past situation in which you had a strong urge. Allow yourself to feel the urge and visualize giving into it. Let it pass. Now visualize the same sensation again, only not giving in to the urge this time. Do this for as many situations as you need to. Using the same techniques, rehearse a situation that may happen in the future. Number three, role play and rehearsal. Smart meanings are a safe place to role play. Other people act the part of the people you anticipate will challenge you in a high risk situation. The meeting facilitator can help set up a role play. Here's an, a, some samples. Show your role play partner how you think a difficult person will behave. Your partner plays the, the difficult person while you play yourself in the situation. Once you finish the scenario, swap roles and do it again. The people watching in the role play can then show you how they might handle the same situation differently by playing your part. Consider role playing challenges associated with events like holidays, parties, weddings, or any other spe special events. Number four, refuse to use in social situations. There will be always be an occasion to use or act out. How do you deal with them? Here are some, some ways. Talk with a fellow recovering or recovered person about upcoming events that you think may trigger an urge. For example, a party. Up them afterwards. Bring it up in a smart recovery meeting. Rehearse or role play the event with a smart recovery group and by yourself, role play or visualize the whole event. Prepare answer to the questions people will ask. Visualize getting a soft drink. Do it in your mind until it becomes natural. If the host of the event is a friend, tell them before the event that you aren't drinking. Enlist them as an ally. Take a more experienced non-drinker or a friend with you who knows your situation. Eat something before the event, especially if you don't know when or if you'll be able to eat again. Arrive late and leave early. Prepare and use the escape plan. If necessary, prepare a reason for leaving early. Upon arrival, immediately get something non-alcoholic. 
You can then socialize with a glass in your hand, not feel like you're a standing out. This forestalls the, can I get you something, awkwardness. Remember, your drinking or not drinking is less important to others than you think. It's unlikely anyone is watching you or focusing on you for long. If someone insists that you use, make eye contact. It shows you're serious. Speak in a firm, unhesitating voice. Don't feel guilty. You have the right not to use. After you say no, change the subject. You only have to say it once. So the next video was Defeat Urges with Deads. Look forward to the next video, everyone.